you look on the bottom of your unit, below the telephone keypad, which would be right here, is a very tiny dot. You can kind of fill a little small hole. That is the mono microphone right there. So if you're um, voice recording, that's what you can use it for. And on the very front of the device, there is a keypad lock switch. If you move it to the right, keypad locked. Keypad locked. And I can tap any key on the keyboard, and hold down cancel. It doesn't do anything. If I move this switch to the left, keypad unlocked. Keypad unlocked. I actually use that switch a lot when I'm trying to listen to a podcast or something, and I don't want to bump a key accidentally and lose my place. So that's also a very useful switch. Beside that is the little connector slot for this cable. This cable, if you plug it in, I've covered this in our previous video, but I'm going to go over it again. If I plug it in right here, you have to squeeze these sides and push it in. And I, mine clicked. I don't know if you could hear that. But, and it's connected. If I try to pull it out, it doesn't come out. And if you want to know that this is in the right way, you can fill on the cord above or right towards the top of the cord and there's a little embossed symbol and if I turn it upside down that isn't there so you have to have that embossed symbol facing up on the end the other end of the cord is the block on the very left of the block there is the cord or the connector slot for this cable. This cable will plug in the smaller end right here. I'm not going to plug it in right now, but it would go in right like this. And the opposite end right here would plug into your PC if you want to charge it or if you want to send files or use the USB networking feature. To the right of the PC cable slot is it other is a bigger USB port slot. Here you can plug in external QWERTY keyboards, external hard drives, or thumb drives. This is useful if you want to not type it in Braille or text things in on your keypad, or you want more storage space. I'll unplug this cable now and I'll squeeze the sides and pull out and it's removed. If you can see this really small circle right here, this is where the AC power charger will plug in. If you want to charge a unit through the AC power, it plugs into that small circle slot. If you turn your Braille Plus over, I'm going to lock it. If you'll notice, on both sides of your unit, there is a stereo speaker and a, another stereo speaker. This is how most of your sound will come out of your Braille Plus. And if you, on the left side, below the stereo speakers are three buttons. The one on the top, if you push the, there's a long button. If you push the top, the volume will go up. If you press the bottom side of it, the volume will go down. If you have headphones plugged in, the only the volume on the headphones will be turned up and down. If you're using the mono earpiece, the volume will only go up and down. And if you're using the speakers, the volume will only go up and down. So each device you use for external sound or internal sound will actually have their own volume, whatever you set. The small round button below that is the speaker toggle. If you all of a sudden decide you want to use the earpiece for something, you can press the speaker toggle. If you're in speakers, you'll hear a quieter sound through the earpiece. It'll say, earpiece. You can listen to whatever you want through the earpiece and then press the speaker toggle button again. And it'll switch back to your stereo speakers and speak the word speakers. There's a little ridge and then below that is another small round button. This button is the quick record button. Something that um, people really should know is this button will not, you cannot use an external microphone to record when you press this button and it doesn't record at the highest quality as the voice recorder does. So if you just want to make a quick note, just press the quick record button and hold it for a couple seconds until it says begin recording. If you want to record a high quality recording, you're going to want to actually open the voice recorder. Turn it over like this, and you take the battery cover off. Here is the battery. And we put this in in the previous video. If you fill to the left of the battery, at the very top between, um, well, right, by, right underneath the wall to the rest of the unit, 
has a small round hole. This kind of feels like it can be a screw, but it's actually the reset button. You can use this to reset, reflash, or just press it to start up your unit if it's locked up. But you have to press it with something very small, such as the end of a stylus or the very end of earbuds to get that. That is all the that's all the keys, ports, and switches on the Rail Plus.